Hey everybody, this is Kim Hawk and I'm known as the Fairy Godmother of Real Estate and I live in Celebration, Florida, but I have a story to tell you about this incredible place that's behind me. It's called Give Kids the World. And so when I was in my early 20s, I had the opportunity to meet and work with Henry Landworth. He is the founder of Give Kids the World. And if you don't know his story, please buy his book. He was in the concentration camps. His family was taken away from him. He survived. And what happened was when I met him, he wasn't bitter. He understood that what the world really needed was love and that there were children that were hurting and he could do something about it. So he was the general manager of a Holiday Inn and he was working with us at Disney because I was at Disney at the time. And what he would do is he would say, hey Disney, can you give us some free tickets for some kids that are terminally ill? I'll put them up in my hotel and then I'm going to ask my airline folks if they'll fly them in. And that's how Give Kids the World started. And so my roommate, Maria and I, back in the day, would take turns so that we would take the kids to hospitals in case if they got overheated. Because of course, you know, it was such a great thing that they were able to go into the Disney parks and whatnot. But what Henry said was, one day I pray that I won't have to have these children go to these hotels. I'm gonna build this amazing place where there are giraffe necks on villas and they can eat ice cream 24 hours a day. And they're gonna know that they are loved and their parents are gonna be taken care of. And so don't you know how good God is? So years later, let's move forward. I'm an executive at Universal Studios and I'm opening up Hard Rock Live. And I'm at a meeting and Tom Williams, bless his heart, said, what charity should we raise money for? And we knew that Elton John was going to be the entertainment for the opening night of Hard Rock Live. So I said, give kids a world. A lot of people didn't know who that was, what it was. And Tom said, OK, Kim. Well, that night it raised a million dollars. A million dollars was the seed money so the give kids a world could, could happen. And so I just praise God for this. And so this is definitely going to make me, it's going to make me cry because my daughter is so involved with this too, my family. This is really a great cause. So when you ask the fairy godmother who her favorite charities will be, it will definitely be Give Kids the World. And so we can't wait to introduce you. Henry has now passed away, but his wife Pam is involved. And we're going to introduce you to Omar, who's pretty incredible. And we're going to ask you, whenever you get a chance to come out and see the lights, these lights are magical. And it means a lot to these kids that are terminally ill. So anyway, we hope you enjoy it. one of my daughter's best friends and I am very proud of him with all the efforts that they put behind this great cause but I wanted to ask him if he wouldn't mind sharing with everybody how do they get tickets and what's going on. So I am the development manager for Give Kids the World and I oversee special event fundraisers. This is our second annual Night of a Million Lights event. Uh, it's a fundraiser for Give Kids the World. It's going to run for 52 nights beginning on November 12th uh, all the way through January 2nd and you can get tickets at gktw.org slash lights. In this area, they have some incredible gifts that you can buy. Things that are gonna mean something. There's children that have actually decorated some incredible Christmas cards. We're gonna buy as many as we can, it says joy. And on the back of this card, it reads, it's a family letter. It says, I loved everything about Give Kids the World Village, but my favorite things would be the la -di da Spa and the Gingerbread House. This place made my family feel amazing. Everyone could do everything. So please, you guys, make sure you go to the website. We're gonna put the information below. You wanna buy your tickets, you wanna donate money. 
this is a place that is worth visiting and encouraging. You're just not gonna believe what you see. It will definitely make your holiday very joyful. Make sure that you subscribe and like so that we can continue to give you up-to-date information on all things that are going around the 25-mile radius of Cinderella's Castle because this is truly a magical place to live. There's nothing more magical than being at Give Kids the World and seeing all these incredible lights. And if you look right behind me right now, you will see that this is Walt Disney World that has sponsored this beautiful building. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk down the street and you're gonna see everything from Peppa the Pig to all kinds of good stuff. Make sure that you go to Give Kids the World website and get your tickets because this is an event you don't wanna miss and it's such a great cause. We are here, and you're not going to believe who I've got. You guys want to introduce yourselves? I am Nash Carter. I am Wesley, and together we are MSK. MSK, you guys, in the house, and they are here to support Give Kids the World. Thank you guys so much for being here. Oh, oh, this is awesome. Here. This has been a great experience. Yeah. Awesome. It's absolutely amazing to see such an amazing organization, and it's a great opportunity for us to be a part of it as well. Sorry, I get a little emotional. <laughs> yeah. Me too. All right, you guys. They said they'll be back. All right, take care. During a typical year, our volunteers fill 1,800 volunteer ships each week, doing everything from serving ice cream, operating rides, and delivering pizza, to putting on events like Night of a Million Lights. Without our amazing volunteers, none of this would be possible. You've been volunteering here for how long? Uh, just over three years. Yeah, it's absolutely an amazing place to be and to see the kids just uh, forget everything of what they have to go through outside of these gates. They come inside, they get to just be a kid. Thank you, Brian. Hey everybody, you're not going to believe this. So Give Kids the World has this special house. So when you come to visit, you're going to see a special VIP because he's ahead of schedule this week. Um, I think some people might know him as Santa. Santa, do you have? <laughs> oh, it's definitely Santa. Hello, folks. Santa here. And I want to invite everybody out to the Night of a Million Lights here at Give Kids the World Village in Kissimmee. You have to go online to get your tickets, and Santa wants you to do it really soon because we've already had some sellout nights. If you were here last year, I think this year will be better. Come on out, see me, see the lights, say hi to everybody. <laughs> have a Merry Christmas. Have a Merry Christmas. You too, Santa. Thank you. So here we are at Give Kids the World, and look, there's over a million lights that are here. We are celebrating the lives of all these wonderful children, but we are also celebrating Pam Lanworth, Omar, my daughter Ashley, all these wonderful people that are volunteering their time and their hearts and their souls to create this incredible place. So please, everybody, go to Give Kids the World and look to see what it might be in order to get a ticket and walk through this magical place. It's a fundraiser for one of the best events that you're ever gonna find, 25 mile radius from Cinderella's Castle. I believe in what I'm doing here for sure. And I wouldn't want it to change that for one second. There's something here that, that makes it happen. And there must be God's, God is right here in this village. <laughs>